Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. Hey, and I'm Josh. Lyle and I are scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're very passionate about scuba diving. We created this channel, so we want to make you as passionate about scuba diving. If you're a diver, want to be a better diver, you want to learn how to scuba dive, this is the channel to check out. So click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't miss out on any of our upcoming shows. This is part three of the introduction to the various bits and pieces of your scuba unit. Uh, our previous two episodes, we talked about the air cylinder, we talked about the BCD, and if you missed those, click that link above Josh's head and uh, it'll take you back to those videos. What are we talking about today, Josh? So today we're talking about the reg set, or your regulator, and all the associated accessories with it. There's a few different works. pieces to that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to run over and uh, we'll give you a tour of your reg set. Stick with us. All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to continue uh, our uh, series of videos talking a little bit about gear. If you're taking your first open water uh, class, uh, one of the first things we do is introduce you to all of the components of the scuba unit, your tank, your BCD, and now we're going to talk about your regulator set. And so we'll just lay this guy out on the table. We're going to walk through the different components of it and what the function is. Big old octopus here. So we're going to start with this guy right in the middle. This is our first stage. This is a portion of the regulator set that it actually attaches to the tank. This is a yoke style uh, attachment. <clears throat> in the uh, opening video, we talked a little bit about the DIN style, how it screws in. This yoke actually attaches to it. And we'll show you that uh, as we set things up. Uh, on top of here, there is a little dust cover. That dust cover protects the inlet valve of the first stage. And this has a little bit of a spring to it, but this actually inserts into the high pressure port. And so we want to make sure that we protect this, uh, particularly this, this is an environmentally sealed uh, regulator. We use those routinely here because we dive in colder water. It also helps to protect uh, the first stage from contaminants. But prior to cleaning it and after every dive, we just want to make sure that we put that, that dust cover back on. So as you can see, we got multiple lines running off of here. We'll, we'll go towards our right first of all. So right here we have two second stages. So first stage, second stages. Why do we have two? This is our primary second stage and our alternate second stage. Some people might call this your octo. Um, basically, you're going to breathe from this primarily as the, the, the diver. And if your buddy required some assistance or needed to share air with you, then that's what the alternate would be used for. So with this uh, second stage, we'll talk about a little bit about the components. We have the mouthpiece. Uh, this is the comfort bite that uh, Aqualung produces. And so your teeth sit here and you wrap your lips around that so it's comfortably inserted into your mouth. Um, and we're, we're mouth breathing in and out through this port. Uh, on the underside, we have our exhalation ports. So that's where when we see bubbles coming out from divers uh, with an open circuit, um, then that's where our exhaled air is going to come from. We have a Venturi valve here. This just allows us to adjust the stiffness with which this will work. This is called a demand type uh, regulator. So it only delivers air when you start to breathe in. Uh, there's a mechanism inside of here, we're not going to get too technical, that opens the system to allow air to flow to you. Uh, the first stage takes that high pressure air from your tank and produces an intermediate pressure. Then the second stage will deliver air at the ambient pressure that you're at. So if you're at the surface or at 100 feet, this has a way to give you the correct pressure so that you can breathe. And we'll talk more about the physics of uh, pressure and uh, difference between absolute, ambient, gauge pressures uh, in later episodes. On the front of this, we have a compressible 
purge valve. So when we push on this, it'll deliver a short burst of air. And uh, if we ever took our regulator out underwater, for example, when I take pictures of Josh underwater, he loves to show me his teeth, so he has to take his regulator out. Water gets inside of that regulator. Before he takes a breath, you need to purge that water out. That's one of the first things we learn uh, during open water classes. How do we take a regulator out, put it back in, and clear that before we start to breathe again? But this purge will help to clean that, that out. This style regulator you can see is a little bit of a different shape. Uh, sometimes an alternate may be, uh, because it's tucked by our side, this is a little flatter. It doesn't get in the way as much. And so this is a puck style because this looks maybe like a hockey puck. Similar style uh, bite piece and the exhalation port is on the side of this. And then we still have a purge valve right here uh, that we can use to purge it out. So when this is offered to a diver, if he needs it in, for assistance purposes, really with a puck style, it doesn't matter which way you offer it um, because the exhalation is here. With this, because our exhalation valve is at this position, we always want to wear it in that position so we're exhaling and the, and the bubbles are not uh, creating problems for us. So, also, this is bright yellow because we want it to be obvious to other divers if they need that in assistance that this is obviously where this is going to be located and, and it's not going to come. On the other side here, we have two other hoses. This is our low pressure inflator hose, uh, or LPI, we might, we, we might term that. And on the end of it, it has a little quick release uh, valve. That allows it to insert onto the nipple on our inflator and deflator uh, hose on our BCD and keep it secure. And then the last hose that we have on here, this is our console. You'll see lots of different types of consoles. My particular console is completely digital. This has a submersible pressure gauge. This is an analog gauge. Also inside of here, if you can see, there's a temperature gauge, so you can kind of tell what kind of water uh, temperature uh, you're getting into. On top of here, we have a uh, dive computer. And once this is water activated, uh, this dive computer will tell you your depth, uh, your non-decompression limit, which we'll talk about at length. Um, uh, lots of uh, your dive time. Uh, computers, again, are very sophisticated. Uh, this is physically connected. Some divers have wrist-mounted computers. Uh, lots of, of ways that that can be done. On the back side of the console, we have a compass. So this is a direct reading compass. And again, underwater, there's no GPS. Uh, and so as part of your open water course, we talk a little bit about how to utilize a compass, both on the surface, underwater, and we have various other navigation specialties to learn how to become really proficient at finding your way around underwater. So that is the basic components of the regulator set. And uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is how do we put all those components together so we can actually get ready to go dive. So join us next time.